guys, it's Amara, and today I'm going to go through a couple new Core 19 spoilers that we got, and they're pretty good. Uh, we got some new Planeswalkers, we're gonna go through the promos as well, the special standard showdown lands, and we're just gonna get right into it. So today we got a Liliana the Necromancer leaked. She is a two black, three colorless, legendary Planeswalker, obviously. Uh, the pictures for this, the corners are kind of cut, so the same with the next Planeswalker, so you can't see the loyalty on them, which is kind of odd, but nothing you can do about that. It's plus one, target player loses two life, minus one, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand, and minus seven, destroy up to two target creatures, put up to two target creatures from graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. She's pretty good. Uh, the theme with this uh, set so far is the Planeswalkers are really high cost. So I'm not sure how good they're gonna be honestly, but you know, not much you can do about it. All we can do is be excited and hopefully they end up being played. And then we got a Tezzeret Cruel Machinist, which is two blue, four colorless, obviously legendary planeswalker, plus one draw a card. The zero, now the zero is pretty good. Until your next turn, target artifact you control becomes a five-five creature in addition to its other types. That's pretty good good until your next turn so it stays during the opponent's turn as well i'd call that a win-win and the minus seven is put any number of cards from your hand onto the battlefield to face down they are five five artifact creatures now i'm going to assume it says they're five five because the previous one says five five and it says that they're five and that it's cut so i'm just gonna assume it says that but we can correct me if i'm wrong eventually soon here and then we got Vivian Reed. Uh, she has a two green, three colorless. She's not that good. Five loyalty. Plus one is look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land from, from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Okay, fair. The minus three is destroy target artifact enchantment or creature with flying. And minus eight, you get an emblem with creatures you control get plus two, plus two, have vigilance, trample, and indestructible. She's not that good. Uh, she's fair, but not that good. Another green card that we got that is pretty awesome. He's a vanilla, so he's not that great, but Gigantosaurus, five green, ten, ten, that's it. That's him. How are you doing? He's pretty neat. Um, we're getting a reprint of Sarah's Guardian, which is all right. We're seeing a lot of reprints in this that seem to just be not hitting the mark and they're just kind of fodder, like Colossal Dreadmaw. Not that great. We're getting Shock and Lightning Strike, which are okay. We're getting a lot of reprints from Amonkhet and Aether Vault, which is kind of disappointing. So when they rotate out, they're still in standard, so I guess that's fair. Um, we're getting Murder again, which he is actually a promo, which I'll show in just a second. So we get into the promo lands. The promo lands for Standard Showdown look great. Um, I think that the arts are, are, are amazing. I think the island is definitely the highlight. Usually the islands and the mountains are the highlights, and I think the mountains and the islands are definitely the highlights here. We're getting a Murder as an F&M promo. We're getting M Militia Bugler as an F&M promo. Elvish Rejuvenator as an F&M promo. The Store Championship card is Demon of Catastrophes, which is a two black, two colorless. As an additional cost to cast the spell, Sack a Creature with Flying Trample 6-6. Pretty good. Uh, as a League promo, we're getting Reliquary Tower. Do we really need another? Uh, draft Weekend is a Desecrated Tome. Um, you know, Open House is probably a great promo for most people, and I think it's great. It is Gutter Snipe. I love Gutter Snipe. He's great, you know. And the last promo is a Buy a Box promo, and do I love this card? Nexus of Fate. It is a two blue, five colorless, instant, instant. Take an extra turn after this one. If Nexus of Fate would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, reveal Nexus of Fate and shuffle it into its owner's library. Um, hello. I'll take it. It's got the dragon speaker on it. He's great. I think that the promos are alright. I think the lands are great. Murder's okay. Gutter Snipe's good. And Nexus of Fate is good. Uh, the rest of the cards so far are just filler cards. Shivy and Dragon, you know... Do we really need Shivian Dragon? I guess it's a thing. You know, Lana War Elves. Uh, there's a couple that you can't really read here. 
Talarian Scholar, we just saw that. No, there's just a lot of reprints that aren't that amazing. Cancel, okay. Anticipate, okay. I like Anticipate. Anticipate it's pretty good and Goblin Instigator. That's that's it. One red, one colorless, one one when it enters the battlefield, it creates a one one red goblin creature token. So so far, Core 19 seems like it's slacking a little bit. And we're also seeing the packaging on the booster pack packaging. It just it looks pretty lacking. You know, some of the characters look good, but some of it just looks really lacking. So we're seeing Tezzeret, we're seeing Vivian Reed, I think her name is, the newest planeswalker. We're seeing Liliana, Ajani, and the dragon speaker himself. Let's go. Um, Nico Bolas is on the rest of the packaging, and we're seeing that Tezzeret, which we knew was a planeswalker deck, and Ajani is a planeswalker deck. That's all the information we've got about Core 19 so far. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the whole Core 19 so far. What are your opinions on the promos, or even the packaging artwork? Let me know, and I hope to talk to you guys again really soon.